Hello and welcome to CCTV42. In this video we can look at how to schedule when different types of recording take place on your System 2 DVR recorder. So open the main menu, click Setup and then click Schedule. Now Schedule refers to the normal day-to-day -day recording. Motion is motion triggered recording and the sensor refers to alarm triggered. We're going to look at motion triggered recording. This displays when recording is going to take place. Days of the week are on the left and the time of the day is across the top. You can also see individual channels. The dark blue squares show that no recording is taking place. Light blue squares show recording is taking place. So if you want to you can select the pencil tool and you can add in blocks when you wish recording to take place. The rubber, if you click that, it takes those blocks away. If you double click anywhere on the indicator box, it opens another screen. From here you can select specific start and end times. Click add and a pop-up box appears which shows a full day. If you click the tick, there's a short delay and it will add a full day's recording to that particular schedule. Now in this case we're just dealing with Tuesday. But if we wanted to add it to all days, we simply press the copy button. We've now copied that through to all the days of the week. At the moment we're only dealing with camera 1. You can see that camera 2 has no recording scheduled. So, going back to camera 1, if we want to apply that to all the channels, we simply press copy. It's now copied through to all the different channels on the DVR recorder. Click apply and the changes you've made are set on the DVR. We recommend that you set your DVR to record 24 hours a day. Don't rely solely on motion triggered. If you do want to enable motion triggered, make sure the schedule is set. If you wanted to turn the schedule off, double click. And here we need to take this away. So we simply click delete and it removes that. So for Wednesday, there's no recording taking place. Once again, if we click copy, that'll apply it to all the different days of the week. And if you want to carry the changes through to each individual channel, then once again use the copy facility. If you try and exit without saving, the DVR gives you a prompt to see if you want to save your changes. Now we're going to schedule recording not for a complete day, but between two times. So double click, open the schedule box and click add. So click the arrow by the start time hour, a drop down box appears and you simply select the start time. And once again the same for the end time. Click the tick, and after a short delay, your new start and end time will appear. Again, if you wish to change it to all days, click copy. So here we can see that for camera one, motion triggered recording is scheduled to start at four o'clock in the morning and finish at eight o'clock in the evening. Again, if we wanted to replicate that on all the cameras, use the copy facility and then press apply. We can now see the times have been applied to all the different camera channels. So that's how you enable scheduled recording on your DVR recorder. And once again, you must enable schedule recording before you can set motion triggered recording. And motion triggered recording is covered in a separate video. I hope you found that useful. My name's Henry. We're CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.